Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, in today's video, I wanted to do a Bible journaling page that is based on the verse from Isaiah chapter 53 and it's verses four through six but I'm going to be focusing on the actual um, page is going to be for verse 5, Isaiah 53, verse 5. But I will read right now 4 through 8. Yet he himself bore our sicknesses and he carried our pains. But we, in turn, regarded him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. Five, but he was pierced because of our rebellion, crushed because of our iniquities, punished for our peace, was on him, and we are healed by his wounds. We all went astray like sheep. We all have turned to our own way, and the Lord has punished him for the iniquity of us all. So... I always like this verse because basically this is saying how much the Lord, how much Jesus loved us that he would suffer and die for all of our sins and that we can say we are healed because of he took the pain and the punishment for us. So today I'm using, I'm going to start out right now first with using distress some uh, <laughs> ranger distress oxide called anti linen and i was going to use the um use some watercolor paint but i have to master that technique a bit more not that i have to master it but i didn't I wasn't quite too happy with the way it came out, so I figured I'd just stick with the distressed inks for now. So this is a very light color, and I'm just going to just lightly go over the page. I am, I have, I do have a protector behind the page. So like I said, this is just a light wave of color. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to, you know me and my principles. I have so many principles from when I was just, you know, I just have a lot. So this one is from Ella Roets. I'll link her shop, of course, you know, I, she's um, on Etsy. This is a pretty old principle. So what I'm going to do now is this was fr this is from it. I just cut it and then and then I'm going to kind of like just make a border. I hope this comes out straight. Okay. Just kind of like make a border separating. text from the actual page I'm going to be working on. Okay, so this is the principle. Let's see. First, I'm going to by his wounds we are healed. Isaiah 53.5 I think I'm going to put that there. Um, then there were some crosses here. I cut these. I think I'm going to put it like this. Maybe like this. And then this is, I think this is so beautiful. You have the image of the girl, the Jesus in the middle and hanging on the cross. I think I'm gonna put this down here by the text, the actual text. So yeah, with that said, you know, we go through a lot in life difficulties, you know, sicknesses and different ailments, 
whether it be ourselves, whether it be family members, and it can get, it can get hard. It can get discouraging. It can get so exhausting. We have to remember that Jesus, we're healed by his blood and just turn to him. No one was tortured. No one was treated in this world like he was. You know, the physical pains we feel in our body, the illnesses we go through, you know, the chronic pain and, and things that we have to suffer, that's not fun, but just remember that even though nobody else may be able to relate to you or maybe you feel like no one can, you know, sometimes you get even tired of talking about your illnesses, just know that you could always talk to the Lord he truly, truly understands. By his wounds, we are healed. And claim that for yourself, that verse, Isaiah 53, 5. Okay, so let's see. Um, There's a verse in scripture I also wanted to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So we are made righteous through the Lord. And for that, we should just remember and be grateful, you know, be, be grateful because We know that in him we, we find strength. And we ask him for courage for whatever we have to deal with in life. Jesus had a, crown, a thorn of crown shoved into his head. You know, that represents mental, mental people who suffer from mental illness. You know, depression, anxiety, that, that's hard to deal with. But know that you're not alone the Lord is with you. And yes, we do have people that can help you. That Jesus puts in our life. Okay, so. Now, what I wanted to do here is I have these little. These I bought a long time ago. These are little um, handmade watercolor paints. I'll try to link this below. This was, I know, was from Amazon. Geyser, no, CSY Art Gallery. So I have this little tin. It has four, like almost metallic looking paints, pan, pan. and then this one. Now this one, <laughs> I remember when I took the stickers off and I've had the names on them. I didn't do that for this one, so, but I will try to find them. And I'm going to use, I just recently purchased these. It's called um, these special effects brushes. That almost, see how they're like cut out? So I have the bigger one and I have a smaller one. So just what I thought I would do. Is just take my brush. I think I'll go into, let's see. This color right here. It's the darkest one, looks like a dark brown. Saturate the brush. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know, when you're Bible journaling, it should be, you know, time spent with God and reflection. So give yourself grace. If it doesn't, you know, I just want to kind of put some like crosses around the page. And let's see, so let me see, I'll wet the brush a little bit there. I really like these special effect brushes. They're really, really nice. And I have a smaller one. 
So I'm just putting them on the page to remind me of the cross, of what Jesus did for me, for us, who have accepted him as our Lord and Savior on the cross, that no matter what trial, pain, mental or physical that we are going through, that one day we will be with him. It will be over. I'm sorry, this is the brush that I'm using. I don't know if I showed that, but it's from the same set. I'm dipping into, oh, let's see, I think I'll put one over here. It's kind of like a metallic finish. And I just think it's, you know, I like the effect that it's, it's giving. If, if it's not dark enough, you can go over it. So yeah, guys, that's really it. I mean, this is a simple page and but it's something that um you know while i'm reading you know ideas will come to me how i can just focus on a verse and then try to just you know i like i've always liked art just try to create a visual for me visual for me is very important it helps me to memorize and to just find a connection, to connect in another way creatively with our Lord. So that's it. Thank you so much everyone for watching. Like I said, I will leave down below the paints that I used and let me just, okay. I realized, I hope I was not too zoomed out so you can see the whole page but this is the page this is the finished page and this is how it came out came out so again thank you so much for watching everyone and i will see you in my next upload have a blessed day